we have choices every single day. And I mean, again, just like you said, we're really big when it comes to our overall fitness, you know, supplementation, what we eat, um, moving our body, so not you know. sleep, uh, getting sun. Not everyone yeah. does that. In fact, a lot of people think, well, all this, you know, who needs it or it's okay to rest. I don't have to work out body positivity, however you want to see it. At the end of the day, you cannot deny science and science is going to tell you when you exercise, you're going to feel better. And When it comes to your mental health, living true to oneself brings freedom and attracts like-minded individuals. We almost feel like we're restricted on what we can and can't do. Is it right? Is it wrong? Um, what are people going to think about me? And it's like, listen, like, don't worry about whatever else is around you, what, what the response is going to be around you. Worry about what makes you happy, right? And if you live true to whatever makes you happy and you, and you, you practice th you, those activities that's going to bring you joy, eventually you're going to one, feel better about yourself because you're, you're, you're truly going to bring happiness to yourself doing what you love. And then that's obviously going to attract other people that not only see you as a happy individual, but are also going to see you happy doing the things that you love doing. So if you're living true to oneself, it's going to bring freedom and attracts like-minded individuals because now when it comes to how you feel about yourself, you're a much more happy person. Instead of you trying to please somebody else or trying to become somebody that you're not, you can be who you are instead of pretending to be somebody else because that's what you think the mold should be. So that's kind of what it means by by living true to, to oneself. So when you want to think about your mental health, instead of you worrying about like, oh man, like uh, this person's like this, like, and then you're, you start comparing yourself to other people. Now it's like, dude, like I'm me and I want to do what makes me happy and I want to live happy with, with whatever my actions and my choices are. Ultimately, that's going to start attracting other people, which is it's just going to aid into your mental health because again, instead of you wanting to pretend to be someone you're not to please other people and to impress other people, you could just do what makes you happy and then that's going to attract other people that are, that are going to enjoy what are the same things that you do. All right. Should we just... Yeah, no, at this point, yeah, let's just continue. Okay. Yeah, uh, I mean, being aware, of your, being aware of your mental health, uh, one of the most important things you could do, I think, for yourself. Uh, definitely not talked about, especially for men, I feel like, in particular. Um, but if you want to be a healthy individual... I think uh, mental health has to, be, has to be at the forefront of it all. Yeah, so we, we started talking and it, it started coming out pretty good. But um, yeah. we want to discuss another chapter of uh, be aware of your mental health. And yeah, so it's important. One of the, the key things, especially when it comes to mental health and, and more for men, how uh, it's almost like a stigmatized to, you know, they have to be strong. They can't feel things like that. Um, almost in a general setting, um, you, you know, you just overall, I think we're all just trying the best that we can. So almost feeling like we're comparing ourselves to other people or like we just haven't made it and all these things, you know, or, or trying to become someone that we're not, or almost like that imposter syndrome. Like it's not truly who you are. So you almost fall your, you, you fall into this like world of who am I? Am I doing the right things? Like it does this make me happy when instead, if you just live truly to what you love to do, it's going to, again, attract that environment of, of, of being happy and other people that want to be around a happy person and, and people that love you for what you're doing. So just think of how much that can help your mental health. And, and, and again, like it, it, living true to oneself, I'm also thinking of, well, if you want to feel a little bit vulnerable, which we talked about in a previous chapter, if you yeah. want to be able to talk about things that you like or things that bother you, things that hurt you, just to be who you are, um, it's just going to allow you to be, you know, overall, y your, your mindset's just going to be in a much better place because you know who you are. And that's kind of the, the basis of what I meant by, by the first section. I love it. I love it. And yeah, I know what you were saying about the society, the expectations, especially for men that are upon us where it's like, okay, I can't be vulnerable. I can't be honest with myself and share these emotions that undoubtedly we all have, right? You know, men and women, they don't feel differently. They just express it in a different way. And unfortunately, a lot of times men, uh, they fail to do so in the healthy manners and uh, how they should be um, expressing themselves, you know? So... For me, it's a big one, and, and and interesting enough, like I was going through some stuff recently, and the first thing I did was pick up the phone, made an appointment to go to therapy because there were certain things that were like internalizing. I was built; they were building up, and I was like, you know what? I want to I want to talk to this. I want to talk about this to 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 my therapist. Um, and a lot of people I feel like don't do that, and I think it's so important to to know that okay, like I need help, and it's okay to ask for. Why help. do you think people don't do it though? I think people. <sighs> I feel like people think that a they can either handle it themselves, or maybe they will be ridiculed by people if they express themselves, and um, you know talk. It's hard to sit down and and talk about your feelings, right? You know whether that is a stranger or that's a friend uh, or a family member. 
Um, it does really take courage. And that's why I always say, you know, it's not weakness when you're being vulnerable. It's actually strength, little strength. Uh, if I may. Yeah, of course. But it also depends because one thing that we've always said is uh, it's one thing to be aware, but another thing is to take action. Sure, of course. Because if you do, if you're going to be vulnerable, but then do nothing about it, then you're you're not helping anybody. In fact, you're only creating more damage for yourself. And that's and, and I guess like that's whole, the whole reason why we created this because it's like, yeah. yeah, it's important to be aware that it's okay. In fact, one of the key points that we talk about is like, you know, it's okay to be vulnerable and, and, and almost that, 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 the image of being vulnerable and, and, and being able to speak about mental health, I mean, it's changing. Before, I feel like it was super frowned upon. And slowly, I mean, I feel like it's been more open for people to open sure, up and talk yeah. about what they're feeling and being vulnerable. You still have the side over, I guess, with red, red pill community that they're like, no, you can't. You got to yeah. be strong. You can't show that. And listen, at the end of the day, you want to be, uh, again, it's the first thing that I said, you want to be around, like, live your true self so that way you can be around in, uh, an environment that's going to be accepting of what it is that you feel, but also know who you are. And, and by living with your, your true self of who you are, you start to really understand who you are, what your strengths are, what your weaknesses are. And then from there, you can discuss your weaknesses by trying to find solutions to be stronger from your weaknesses because that's not what's going to define you. And I think that's what, what's important. The fact that you also took the step of speaking out and being comfortable to open up and reach out to your therapist, you know, yeah. it shows that that's what I call but, strength. But that's also the course of action. It's like, okay, yeah, My point. I'm going through something, but what am I going to do about it? I'm just going to sit there and do nothing or I'm going to pick up the phone, go to the appointment, sit down and assess. And then moving forward, obviously there are certain steps that also need to follow up. But I think the first step is making a decision, an active decision to say, well, I'm going to need help and I'm going to reach out. You know, I agree. I agree. And, and I think that that's important because you decided to, to take action in order to do so instead of you accepting whatever current situation you were going through. Yeah. And it, a lot of times with societal expectations, I mean, we almost feel pressure that we have to be, you know, a, a certain version of ourselves when it may, it may not be who we are. So now, again, we're further pushing ourselves into this this road of, well, this isn't even who I am and now I got to pretend to be this person because that's what's expected of me. And it's like, no, dude, like there's a whole society outside of that that allows you to just be who you are, feel what you want to feel and be accepted for what you want to, for, for, for you, for however it is that you want to be. Um, of course, we always want to strive to be better individuals and that's kind of the whole point of why we're creating this because again, everyone has, you know, they're going through some things and I don't want to say that it's it's bad to feel bad, but I want you to understand that it's possible to also feel good. Feeling bad is not the answer to anything and it's not going to be the end all be all. There's opportunities that you can take in order to be a better individual and that's going to ultimately affect your better health. Your your better health. It's your mental health. Um and I think that that's important that you have the control to take that action. So, but you have to live true to who you are. You mm -hmm. have to live true to yourself and, and, and be comfortable with, again, your strengths, your weaknesses. Be, it's okay to be vulnerable, but it, it's also not okay to not take action. Just, so, just like we say, it's, it's okay to be aware, but we got to do something about it. And I feel like that's where, where you really want to take action to, to strengthen your mental health is by allowing yourself to feel allowing yourself to feel vulnerable, allowing yourself to feel sad, unhappy, whatever it is. But then again, taking the actions necessary to get yourself out of the funk to be a better individual. Yeah, it's it's okay to mourn and feel and, and grieve. Just don't lay in it, you know, don't stay stuck and be like, oh, this is going to be the rest of my life. Like, no, mourn, grieve, and then you move on and you figure out certain ways to overcome this, the struggles and the whatever it is that you're going through. I feel, especially like, you know, we're big on you know working out. We go to Zoom. We work out. We now a new partnership with AG One. Like we are very big on 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 our physical health, but we also need to be aware of your mental health. It goes hand in hand. You can't have one without the other one. And so I think a lot of people miss the mental health aspect of it. And so starting from within, when you read this chapter, hopefully you will remember or you realize well, mental health is so important as well. Instead of just okay, well, you know, I, I'll figure it out. I don't really need that. You that's know? yeah that's an extremely good point um i saw a video a while back of them saying like oh you think that just by exercising it's a physical change but you don't understand what happens like with the rest of your physiology and how, you, how your mind works how your body works how when you start exercising you're releasing these like these chemicals in your body that make you feel good that make you feel happy and, and gives you like a sense of accomplishment and over time just imagine the impact that they could do because i mean we have choices every single day and 
I mean, again, just like you said, we're really big when it comes to our overall fitness, you know, supplementation, what we eat, um, moving our body, so not you know. sleep, uh, getting sun. Not everyone yeah. does that. And in fact, a lot of people think, well, all this, you know, who needs it or it's okay to rest. I don't have to work out body positivity, however you want to see it. At the end of the day, you cannot deny science and science is going to tell you when you exercise, you're going to feel better. And, mm-hmm. and over time, again, like when you start seeing the weight come off and you start just feeling better, you're feeling lighter, clothes are starting to fit you better. You look better in whatever it is that you want to wear. You have more energy. Uh, you, you can eat other foods without feeling guilty. There's just so much that you feel when you when you take that almost like fitness, but then how that translates to your mentals yeah. when it comes like how you now think of food, how you think of yourself, how you think of other people around you. There's another clip that I saw that it was a guy that says, if I see a guy who's who's ripped, who's shredded, works out hard, I know the kind of person that he is. I know that he believes in patience because looking like that, w- it wasn't built in a day. It took time. It took effort. It took a lot of patience because again, how long does it take for, for us to start seeing results? Maybe the first 30 days we start seeing tiny things, but not until like it takes six months, maybe a year, depending on the nutrition and the, and the workouts sure. when we really start seeing that impact. Um also delayed gratification of knowing that yeah you're putting the work in today and you're exercising today but you're not going to see those results immediately just just like i said it takes time so there's just so many things that you can learn from exercise of the overall benefits that you just don't see physically where it does affect you mentally and then that's where the beauty of it is exercise so that's kind of what we promote and what we want everybody else to follow yeah absolutely and i think starting from within there's a reason this has been one of the first chapters you know for at the beginning of the book because it is so important and it shouldn't be um, overlooked for sure. Yeah, absolutely. And especially when it comes like as we go through the rest of, of the course book, everything that we, we've created for this. But, you know, with the with the free PDF, again, it's just a reminder for you to kind of look back and and and, and just kind of live by these little bylaws, I guess you can say. Mm-hmm. Just uh, again, little reminders for you to, to, to just stay on top of it, stay aware yeah. in order for you to, to again, to, to take action every single time. Sure. And as you continue progressing through the course and also with life, you know, cause the, the beginning of it is trying to become overall better for yourself to create that overall amazing individual that you have the potential to become. Absolutely. But then eventually you're going to get, you know, you, you want to attract the same kind of people around us yeah. and ultimately to find the partner that we've been looking for that matches our energy, matches our mindset and it's only j- just imagine the type of person that you're going to be attracting when you're living literally vicariously through through everything that you're practicing. Yeah, even even platonic relationships, even friendships, even friends that you want to bring into your life, you know, because nobody wants to be around somebody who pushes you down. You want to be around people that elevate you. And mental health is a big part of that as well, you know, so that that goes hand in hand as well. Exactly. And and it kind of sounds messed up. But when I look at someone like you who likes to exercise, worries about their fitness and worries about nutrition, I know that you're looking out for the best interest of yourself. I know I can trust you because you're going to look out for the best interest for me because sure. you know what it takes. Yeah, sure. Anyone else who doesn't take care of themselves and, and, and they just let themselves go. I mean, how can I really rely on you when you're not yeah. even taking care of yourself? And I'm not saying that for everybody because, I mean, there's a bunch of people that I know personally that, you know, they're probably on a little bit of the heavier side. But I know I can trust them for, for with anything. But it took time for that to be built. While if I see someone who just lives by that, I feel just, just a little bit more confident that that they live almost a, a very similar life to mine. Similar so if life, that's yeah. how I live, I know that they're going to be looking out for my best interest as well. I like it. Yeah. Perfect. So yeah, when it comes to your mental health, I mean, it's extremely important. I mean, we have, we, we practice what we preach and not only that, we have partnerships with, um, with, better uh, with better help. We also have, um, the, the nutritional one with AG one, which, which kind of just makes you yourself feel better. And ultimately that translates everything else. So, uh, it's one of the more important chapters that we have, but also just more important when it comes to your life. So, For sure. uh, hopefully that this helps you out. No, absolutely. And obviously if you want to get the keys, they're free to download, you know, the coffee it'll be on the homepage where you can just you know, fill in your information, you can download the PDF file, file straight to your uh, device. Absolutely. Yeah. On our website, we have a lot of different resources, more expanded. Um, but the keys is, is it's completely for free for you to just get an idea of what it is that we're trying to do. And of course, if you like it and you want more information, we have those okay. resources as well. But of course, everything will go really into detail and more expansive of what it is that we're trying to do in order to, to help as many people as possible. So yeah, just like Marvin said, you know, check us out, go to our website, download the keys completely for free to get started on your journey today. Thanks so much, guys. Good luck. Peace. Bye.